the Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park, setting in Accra, Ghana, underwent a remarkable renovation that breathed new life into its historical moment. The park is dedicated for honoring Ghana's struggles for independence and the visionary leadership of Kwame Nkrumah. President Ekufo Addo has restored the park, making it stunning. If you are new here, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below. Let's keep the ball rolling. Over the years, the Kwame Nkrumah Museum Park has attracted visitors around the world, with an annual amount count of approximately 100,000 who visited the park to pay homage and learn about the life and legacy of Kwame Nkrumah. The park was dedicated in 1992 and is five acres in size. The park was designed by Don Atta, housing the bodies of Nkrumah and his wife, Fatia Nkrumah. The park has now experienced significant renovation in its 25 years' existence. It had issues like malfunctioning fountains, leaky roofs, and so on. This is the spot where Nkrumah made the declaration of Ghana's independence in 1957. He stated, at long last, the battle has ended. Ghana, our beloved country, is free forever. The renovation project was a collaboration set out with architects, historians, and passionate individuals coming together to preserve the past legacy. Their goal is to inspire and educate visitors about Ghana's journey towards freedom and enduring footprints of Kwame Nkrumah leadership. The mausoleum, the sacred resting place of Kwame Nkrumah and his wife, received special care. The failure structure has been carefully refurbished, ensuring it shows the respect and honor of the great leader. The building is meant to represent an upside-down sword, which in Akan culture symbolizes peace. The mausoleum is clad from top to bottom with Italian marble with a black star at its apex to symbolize unity. The interior boasts marble flooring and a mini masturbat looking marble grave marker. The museum is surrounded with water, which is a symbol of life. The Nkrumah Museum within the park also underwent transformation. The faded photographs and artifacts were replaced with vibrant displays. Vividly brought to life the story of Kwame Nkrumah's sacrifices. The museum has become a vibrant tapestry. The Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park has been resurrected, standing tall and proud, ready to welcome visitors from around the world. At long last, the battle has ended. And thus, Ghana, your beloved country, is free forever. <laughs>